Hey, thanks for checking out this video, which is going to be all about how AI, software, and even how a few little hardware tweaks can improve camera vision. The footage comes from a recent local event that I attended for the supplier Continental, where it was showing off all its CES tech. And this is one piece I found kind of interesting. Here, check it out. Continental has developed some cool tech for their cameras. If you could uh, describe yep, it for me. Definitely. So what we plan to showcase here are some ideas and things that we are continuously improving about our cameras. Right? So we are showcasing a real scenario. We are mimicking a real scenario and we are taking advantage of a software solution, which we're going to present it uh, through the urban day scenario, urban night scenario, where we take advantage of environmental lighting. And the second scenario is a rural, where we do not have any advantage of uh, ambient lighting. So inside of this box, they are at scale, everything coming from sizes of the vehicle, uh, people, down to a uh, camera. If you see, even camera is a little bit distorted to mimic the, the real scene. And the first solution, the software solution, is the one that uh, take advantage of neural network. So what we are doing, and I'm showcasing here a solution of a camera outputting an image in 0.2 lux. We can enable a little bit of uh, ambient lighting so as you can see, the image is not very bright, not very clear. This is what a vehicle, a surround view vehicle may typically show uh, in an urban scenario. So our approach, the uh, machine learning neural network is simply the usage of algorithms to boost the performance. I will take off the, the police car because it's creating a little bit of noise. But the software solution is the one that um, yeah, we are using in order to boost the performance of the camera. So neural network, as I mentioned, training of the image in order to be able to reproduce image uh, colors and also having a more pleasant visualization of the of And image. you were telling me that uh, an application like this might be great for the interior uh, screen on a vehicle. So if someone's parking Correct. or whatever, yes. so this would be great for a human vision. Correct, we call it human vision, and that is something that a driver or a, a passenger in the vehicle will be able to, to see in, inside of the vehicle on the display. Or, also of course, it can be used to send data, like a couple of uh, uh, OEMs have implemented various modes of security of the camera, where you would send a low light image, right, to your phone to notify about some security in the vehicle. So many uh, alternatives that yeah, can be used uh, this software solution. We, we offer the software as a package. It can be integrated in the OEM uh, ECU. And we also can yeah, provide if required in such an ECU. And then what's your, your other application here, this rural application? Yes. Jumping now to the next one, uh, rural application. So let's enable the rural application. Here, as you can see, we have uh, simple street uh, mostly this this technology we are uh, looking into uh, boosting performance of the camera in order to meet the fmvss 127 regulation that are planned to be uh, launched uh, starting with 2029 right so that would be a b braking under low light conditions automatic emergency braking automatic yep. emergency yep. braking in low light condition just to simulate a Low light condition, as it would be required by the regulation of 0.2 lux. Okay, in this uh, scenario, we can enable or disable the low beam, right? Indeed, low beam does help to provide um, to, to detection. So this mimics uh, the, the pedestrian and the goat or deer for Michigan would mimic uh, approximately 40 to 45 meters uh, depth, right? So the low beam, can offer some information in the image, but we consider it's not, not enough, right? So we are going around and try to boost this performance. And our approach was to take advantage of any, I could call it photon, that is available uh, in, in here. And for that reason, we have modified our uh, filters within the camera in order to allow AR, uh, 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 wavelength 
right? So infrared. And that is would be infrared. That yeah. would be into the spectrum of 800 to 900 uh, nanometers. Somewhere in that spectrum, yeah, details will, will follow. So to boost a little bit the performance in this uh, 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 scene, we have I'm going to do that just one more time so I can yes. get it on. Uh, Go back on the rural night. OK, and then hit this one here. Yes, so that one would be to enable the uh, IR, the additional uh, um, source of light inside of the box. And as you can see, the objects looks better. We have a better detection and also we can yeah, have a more confidence uh, when uh, when classifying an object and uh, applying the brake. And, and one thing earlier you were saying that I found kind of interesting is that um, you're able to enhance this with LED lighting. Yes. On a vehicle. So that uh, that um, bandwidth or wavelength it's also available today in our LED headlamps, right? So by opening uh, with a small notch filter. Uh, um, in the, in the filter of the lens, we allow already extra light coming from the headlamps, but of course additional IR illumination source can be added within the headlamps, hidden, or anywhere around the vehicle. Very cool. Uh, another uh, this, uh, op uh, scenario that we are, uh, wanted to showcase here is, and many people ask us, what is happening if an incoming vehicle with same technology, right, will, uh, Will emit uh, IR. Yeah. Will, will this it, blind the camera? Will it blind it? Will it hurt it at all? Definitely. So in that case, we just brought another source of light straight into the camera with the same intensity and same power as the one that we are emitting towards the the object. And so, it just kind of looks like an oncoming vehicle exactly. coming at you. So at night we do not see any major issues with this one, and yeah, we just wanted to make sure that everything everything is good. And I think that's especially cool how a little notch in the filter on the lens can allow an extra wavelength of light from LED headlamps to come in and improve that camera even more. Kind of cool. But that's the end of this one. If you enjoyed this and haven't already, please like or subscribe.